Hey guys, Jared from NH2A here. Today we're going to talk about my Mystery Ranch 3-Day Assault Pack. So this was a requested video from a viewer. Overall, this has been the best pack I've ever owned. It is extremely versatile. Currently I have it set up for hiking White Mountain Four Granders. Uh, so a lot of the kit's going to be like that. It's not necessarily tactical. I have scaled this up to be um, like in a tactical assault pack. Um, I've also used it as a ski mountaineering pack. It's got the pass-throughs for skis if you Care, uh, if you carry in an A-frame, uh, but we'll, we'll dive right into it. So first off, this isn't something I keep in the pack, but I keep in my rig and I, I use during hikes. You can probably see on the video, there's bugs swarming now. It's that time of the year, especially tick season. Uh, so I use Natripel. I don't use uh, DEET. I just don't care for the, the cancer causing chemicals in there. So starting on the outside, I do have this, uh, this pack outfitted with a few extra things. Uh, so first off is gonna be the beaver tail. Uh, this is great for the tactical use if you guys are carrying helmets. It works for ski mountaineering carrying helmets as well. Um, but in this case, I have micro spikes and I have gators. Those are outdoor research gators. The reason I have those is because there's a number of four granders that still have snow and ice on them. So I carry those as a backup. You, you never really know uh, what you're going to get when you're in the White Mountains this time of year. Next on the outside, two 48 ounce Nalgene's. These, I think, are extremely necessary uh, carrying water. I, I opt for the bigger ones just because I tend to go through a lot of water and if I don't have to filter water, a lot of these hikes do have streams um, and that kind of stuff and I have water filtration options in here. I should say purification options, um, but I prefer just to have the water so if I don't have to stop and do that. On the back side of this, I do have these wings that I added to the waist belt on this pack. Uh, these, these are great for increasing the comfort of this waist strap. It's not um, extremely comfortable without these padded straps carrying any kind of weight. And I've, I've carried, you know, 25, 35 pounds in this pack, no problem, on uh, eight hour plus hikes. So let's get right into it. So the main reason why I really like this pack is because of this uh, tri-zip. So Mr. Ranch has a few different packs that have this tri-zip function, but it allows me to get into the inside of the pack and get things down in the bottom without having to take everything out. So we'll start off with the brain here. So I carry a couple uh, Mora bars, just go to snacks. Um, this is more on the, the ski mountaineering side of it, but belay straps, these also can work to help splint and do other things like that, but these are great to have. Um, kind of more of a wintery item, but I do have hand warmers in here. Uh, I took it out, but typically I have my Princeton Tech Actually, at all times, I do have my Princeton Tech headlamp in the top part of that brain. In the next pocket, this is where I carry a few more snacks. So I have I have dried mango slices there. Uh, diving in deeper, I have a K-Bar spoon for rations. Get into that later. Have a wad of paracord that's found its way around my GPS. So obviously paracord. A lot of uses there, invaluable. Next, I have a Garmin Etrex 22X. Uh, this is kind of a lower end Garmin GPS, but um, it does does a pretty good job for what it needs to. Next along that same line is a compass. Obviously, that's that's important for navigating, and attached to that is a whistle, good for signal. Next, I have a little bag of survival items. So I have a P38 can opener. <laughs> I have a wad of duct tape, some survival matches, a Bic lighter, floss. Um, there is some flint in here. And I have a couple of screws, um, and those are just for bindings for ski mountaineering. So you can see some of this stuff kind of uh, translates over and doesn't come out. Next, I have a trail map. This happens to be the National Geographic one for my area, which is uh, White Mountains West. Uh, this actually is not that great of a na uh, map for navigating. It doesn't pair well with um, protractors. So getting a proper like UTM map is, is going to be essential, but I, I kind of just have this for landmarks. All right, getting into the main pouch here. So this pack does have a little bit of organization on the inside, which is great. So on the inside organization, this is my water pack. So I carry a couple liquid IVs for electrolytes. And then I have aqua tabs in here and I have a little cheat sheet on the aqua tabs to tell me how many tablets I need for 
uh, one of these larger Nalgenes. So that's that's one of my purification methods there. Next, I have a bathroom bag. So these are going to be wipes with hand sanitizer. Kind of self-explanatory. On the other side of organization, I have batteries. So I have these these batter these plastic battery um, packs here to keep double uh, A's here, one two threes, triple A's, and then I even have a couple eighteen three fifties for my mod light. Uh, the headlamp takes the triple A's. So off the top, I have a, a quick shell to grab here. So this is my wind shirt from Triple Lot Design. Uh, so this is pretty much no insulation value, but it does keep the wind off. You have light moisture protection as well. So depending on the forecast for the hike that I'm going to be doing, uh, I'll either pack a rain shell if, if precipitation is very high, or I'll just pack the, the wind shell. Because uh, most of the top of these mountains is, are very windy, they're exposed. Next, just a couple of gloves. Uh, these, are, these just happen to be the pig gloves. Quick grab items on the top, balaclava, and this is a Bergeron Outdoors uh, wool blend beanie. Uh, getting into rain protection again, um, so kind of, if I do have that wind shirt and the weather in New England is very unpredictable, this is going to be my rain protection backup. So this is a poncho. Uh, this is large enough to be a shelter half for me, worst case scenario. Uh, alternatively, it is large enough to cover myself and my pack. So I don't necessarily have a, a dedicated rain fly for this pack. Other items to grab off the top is gonna be my IFAC. So this one's from Odin. This one's got chest seals. Uh, it's got gauze, trauma dressing, survival blanket, and an MPA. Let's see, other items. Emergency bivy. It's more for kind of winter stuff, but it could play a role this time of year, depending on the weather. And I have a boo boo kit. So this is from ITS Tactical. Imminent Threat Solutions is what they also go by. Um, and this is just a boo boo kit. So this is going to have your your medications. It's going to have your burn gel, your bandages, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's easy to grab out of that nylon pouch. Uh, now, kind of getting into some more clothing. So I keep all my items that I don't need quick access to, I carry them in stuff sacks. So this stuff sack is from Ragged Mountain. Another good New Hampshire company there. Uh, this, this isn't a waterproof stuff sack per se, but it will keep the moisture off as far as rain goes. So I have an insulated layer. This is a zip up hoodie from Triple Lot Design. I have it rolled up. Uh, depending on you know the forecast, how cold it's projected to be, I might carry a dedicated puffer jacket. This is kind of like a hybrid between a green fleece and a, and a puffer. Next, I have a wool beanie. I normally carry two beanies, two different weights. And then I have some sort of winter glove liners. So these are outdoor research. These are their heavy, uh, heavy wool, or excuse me, heavy fleece gloves. Next, this is a great piece of kit. So this is Marine Corps issue uh, surplus stuff sack. This little mesh valve here actually expels all the air when you compress this thing down so it does stay tight. So this, this is really keeping stuff watertight, which is great. And they do make some of these that line your entire pack if that's something brand new. So I carry base layers in this stuff, so stuff that I really need, really need to stay dry. So I have a wool long sleeve base layer here, extra pair of underwear and long johns. Uh, the long johns may be not entirely necessary this time of year, but uh, they're there just in case. And kind of getting down into the bottom here, I have my MSR pocket rocket with with this uh, fuel here. So this is a bigger canister of fuel. I, I kind of carry as much as I can. Um, so this is a good way to have, uh, could be heat, worst case scenario, but ideally for boiling water, uh, which I didn't touch on. But I do have a nested Nalgene metal cup which sits on the outside here. So that's gonna be my backup method for purifying water. So stove is obviously great for that. This is an older generation pocket rocket. Um, I've, I've had good luck with it even, even in somewhat cold temperatures. Um, but primarily this is here for the rations that I have. So I have two good to go rations here. So these are made in Maine. Uh, they have more whole kind of ingredients than the typical dried rations. Uh, these take about a cup worth of water and they're fairly quickly to hydrate, so those are great there. 
and getting into a few final items i do keep a fixed blade knife this one is from packmeyer same company that makes the rubber grips for revolvers and other other kind of handguns but full tang uh, just for if i need to bayonet uh, wood or anything to that matter i, I don't carry this on the outside of, uh, of my belt or anything like some people do and the last item in this pack is a signal flare so this could be emergency fire starter but more importantly this is for signaling uh, to rescue resources and that kind of stuff so that wraps up this three-day assault pack for hiking in the white mountains and kind of the, the springtime this pack could be a winter day hike it could be a summer overnight pack. It's quite expandable once you throw on a few extra things. It does have molly on it, so you could add sustainment pouches if you need to for extra items. So all in all, great pack. Highly recommend.